All right. December 1st, Godzilla Minus oh. One. <laughs> Interesting title. Um, Godzilla appears in post-World War II Japan, which is at its low point at zero. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> and knocks the country down <laughs> one to the negatives. <laughs> <laughs> I have no... Apparently you have to know some kind of Japanese math. What to understand this film. Oh my god, what the, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I think what they're trying to say is they were at a low yeah. after the war and yeah. the bombings, yeah. and they went even lower because Godzilla came in. So that's a minus. <laughs> what is the minus one? <laughs> the way you said it is a, a lot better than how this re right. which is at its low point at zero. <laughs> I didn't know you had a numeric value for where a country was. I know there's DEFCON one through five. I think maybe they're calling it less than zero, which was a film from right. the eighties. There. Now this, uh, you know. The Japanese have been making Godzilla films uh, pretty regularly mm -hmm. and have never used really good CGI. Is, is this going to be a good, is this going to be a guy in a rubber suit? I think it's CGI, yeah. but there's some nice shots of uh, Godzilla grabbing a train with his mouth, which he might have done in the original, okay. but it was a man in a suit, and then the feet stopping, <laughs> it was a nice close-up of feet you don't usually see, <laughs> stopping on the people. Oh, that's I'll put that in here. Yeah, I like but it looks, I don't know if it's dubbed or what it is, it's a Japanese film though, it might be interesting to see, another giant uh, monster movie, which we uh, only go to the theater for now. Mm. Alright, uh, the bike riders...